Recent MCU movies such as Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, recent MCU Disney Plus shows like Secret Invasion, Ms. Marvel and She-Hulk, they have all been unmitigated disasters for Marvel, pushing identity politics to the front whilst pulling the story and realistic character dialogue all the way to the back and while yes there have been a few gems such as with Guardians 3, the truth is the Marvel brand has been damaged beyond repair, the road doesn't seem to be getting any clearer for them. We have the Marvels coming out in a couple of months and the director Nia da Costa seems to be already fortifying it. The Marvels director Nia da Costa unsurprisingly plays racism and sexism card in promotion of the Marvels. It would not be a promotion for a Walt Disney film without someone playing a victim card and da Costa made sure the Marvels would not be an exception. Speaking with Vanity Fair, DaCosta stated, Sometimes as a black woman, you realise that people think you take up more space than you actually do, or your voice sounds louder to people than it actually is, or your tone is more stern than it actually is. DaCosta added that some crew members on previous sets she worked on said, Things that are super inappropriate, things you would just never say to anyone else because they were so specific to my gender, my race, my age. While she did not provide any examples or name any names, Vanity Fair's Rebecca Ford made it clear none of this happened on the set of the Marvels. She had a very different experience on the Marvels, fortunately, in part because she had the power to hire the people she wanted for her team. Da Costa said, I realised it wasn't ever going to be about how much power I amassed or how many great movies I made or if I won any awards, it was always going to just be the people that I surrounded myself with. She added, the thing I've been the most surprised by lately is how much respect I'm getting from these middle-aged white dudes that I work with. Again, those within woke Hollywood always have to make everything about the superficial elements of one's identity. And by the way, da Costa just proved that she is a hypocrite. She said that she is surprised that these middle-aged white dudes are respecting her. So does that mean she assumed they would all be horrible and disrespectful pieces of shit? Was she prejudging them based on their race and gender? That seems to me to be discriminatory behaviour. The truth is, most of us here know why she is highlighting these points, why she is making race and gender such a big thing. The cast and crew are constantly pointing out that there is diversity in the Marvel so that if you dare criticise it, then they have an excuse to throw all the ist and phobe terms at you. It gets worse, check this out. In a new interview with Vanity Fair, filmmaker Nia da Costa, the director of the upcoming superhero film The Marvels, talks about how she is preparing for the guaranteed backlash her film is going to have from the same people who campaigned against Captain Marvel. Not only does The Marvels feature the return of Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, but it features two other female characters, Photon, Tiona Paris, and Ms. Marvel, Iman Vellani. Basically, for those guys who hated Captain Marvel, there is so much more to get triggered by. I'm just girding myself for this, da Costa said. I am a sensitive soul, and I think maybe more of us are than we want to admit. They really are going to try and use the same talking points as before, aren't they? This movie failed because the evil men review bombed it. They are spreading their hatred, all this nonsense. Both men and women hated Captain Marvel because it lacked a layered story and lacked characters that went through stages of development to become someone else entirely different by the end of the feature. As I said before, they know this thing isn't going to be well received, the Marvels that is, otherwise they wouldn't have to be coming out here making all these nonsensical claims that a few toxic men are going to ruin a Disney Marvel movie. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.